Warm greetings from the high 10. It is Everyday Shenanigans on this Saturday, May 9th, 2020. Ah, oh, more crazy news. Crazy, crazy news. Verification for the storyline is CBS News. Southwest Airlines jetliner hits and kills a person as it lands at Austin Airport. This event took place Thursday night. <clears throat> Southwest Airlines jetliner hit and killed someone as it landed at Austin's main airport Thursday night, authorities said. The Federal Aviation Administration said the pilot of Flight 1392 reported seeing a person on the runway shortly after the Boeing 737 touched down at Austin Bergstrom International Airport at 8.12 p.m. local time. The carrier said the pilot maneuvered to try to avoid the person whose identify wasn't immediately released. The driver of an airport operations vehicle subsequently reported finding the person on the runway. Austin Travis County Emergency Medical Services said its personnel pronounced the person, an adult, dead at the scene. The plane taxied to a gate. Everybody got off and no one on board was hurt, Southwest said. The plane was carrying 53 passengers and five crew members, reports CBS News correspondent Chris Van Cleve. The aircraft had taken off from Dallas Love Field. CBS News obtained a photo of the damage to the plane, to plane, to, to, excuse me. It shows damage to the left engine cowling, including a sizable dent on the cowling's leading edge. A cowling is the outside housing of an engine. And when you open up this article, um, you will see the damage to the plane. And it's, it's a, it's, it's a dent. It's a dent around the engine. Uh, the side of that barrel that holds the engine, it's its, it's nice, well, nice size. The runway where it happened was closed as authorities investigated, but a second runway was kept open so the airport could keep operating, reports CBS Austin affiliate KEYE-TV. Austin police told the station the dead person wasn't dressed as an airport worker and didn't have any identification. The FAA said it would assist Austin police in the investigation of the incident. Verification for the storyline is... CBS News. Okay. Woo! What the hell was that person doing out there? Why the hell they didn't have on airport attire that leads one to wonder how in the world did the person get on the field? Why didn't anyone say something to the person if they were unauthorized to be on the runway? And thank God that Big old jetliner didn't slam into something else trying to dodge the person, which you see coming down that runway. It ain't going two miles an hour. But somebody in the comment section said, that don't look like they hit a person. And someone commented, well, do you know how fast that jetliner was probably going, trying to land? It's not what you think. Of course, my thing is that they want to find out how fast the plane was going. Maybe you'd like to jump in front of a jet ladder and see how fast the plane was going when it was trying to land. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Theories and more theories. That's the main question. Who was this person? And what were they doing down there on the runway? And why were they on the runway knowing planes are coming and going? Thank God the pilot and the flight crew and people on board were not harmed, but sad for this person who was on the runway. And as I state, why was this person on the runway and why were they not in that airport um, attire, such as staff? That's what I'm trying to say. And how did they get down there? Many questions. Who is this person? Why nobody saw them to say, hey, what are you doing down here? And why were they down there? Hell, did they want to get hit by a plane? I don't know. But I just think it's odd that somebody's down there in the first place that's not authorized. And another thing I think of, not that it has anything to do with this case, but the fact that Southwest CEO just gave a statement a few days ago, they feel like it's safe to fly Southwest. Well, somebody said, maybe it's safe, but it ain't safe being on the ground because you can get hit by a Southwest jetliner. I'm just saying, wow, this is... This is an interesting story because when I saw it the other day, I thought, what in the world? What, what is going on here? You don't, you rarely hear of any incidents of a plane taking off and or landing, hitting someone on the ground. Because I think most people know that sound of a plane coming in, 
seeing it come down the runway, you can hear it. You can also hear it when it's taking off. Anyone who's ever rode a plane, you know what it sounds like when the plane is starting to move. So this is a very odd, odd story. Honey, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think because this one, I'm, I'm baffled by this one. I will bring you an update when I get it. Uh, said information pertaining who this person is. Thanks for joining me. Like, share, subscribe. Mask up, glove up. Put the items in the appropriate receptacles. God bless America. Thanks for joining me. Hope you all are safe in your homes this weekend. Sorry you can't get out and do anything more that you'd like to do. But being alive is sometimes, hey, better than nothing. Amen. Thanks for joining me. This is Everyday Shenanigans. God bless you. Bye-bye.